Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Chantel. This is my basic journey. I've lived and traveled in a minivan for three years, and for the past three years I've been using a cooler with ice as my fridge system to keep my food cool, and let me tell you, it was a bit of a nuisance, but recently Bouge RV had reached out to me and offered me the fridge of my dreams. It is a 12 volt fridge, and so I'm going to share that with you guys. We're going to open this box up and take it out and test it out, and I'm going to give you a full review on it, give you some specs. So, definitely if you're new, please subscribe below and let's check out this fridge. So this is the box that the fridge came in. We're just going to open it right up. There's no like branding on the side of the box, which I like. RV box. It's cool. There we go. Ooh. Oh my goodness. This thing is so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. Oh, that is so exciting. We have a new fridge now. Finally got it out of the box. I'm gonna go see if it fits in between my seats where I want it to. It's so pretty, it's so big. Well, after much finagling, I finally got it in place here to the point where I can open both of the little doors, I can plug it in, and my armrest still goes down. So, we got it figured out. We got it in place. I'm still going to be able to access it nice and easily. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh, I have a fridge now. All right, it says to wait 12 hours before plugging it in if it was ever put in another position besides this. And I had it like this for like two days. So it has to sit for 12 hours before I can plug it in. Well, it's the next morning. It's officially been more than 12 hours, so we can safely plug this in and get her going. So I'm gonna plug her in with the 12 volt. This is a 12 volt plug that came with it. This goes into the fridge in the bottom, and the little plug is down here on the same side that has this battery box here. We'll get into that battery in a minute, but for now we're going to plug her in. Take this guy out. I have a Jackery 1000. I heard a beep over here. Heard a nice little beep. All right, so there is instructions, but we're just gonna go with it. Turning it on. Ooh, I heard it. I heard it rumble a bit. It's doing its thing. All right, I'm gonna give it about an hour, 
and see where we're at and if it's all cool inside so we can transfer everything that's in my cooler which is underneath that stuff underneath the front seat over there oh this is so exciting so I have the Jackery 1000 and we're right now sitting at 79% just plugged her in I have only the fridge pulling power right now I'm gonna leave it like this for an hour I know that because we're starting from nothing and we're cooling her up, that it's probably going to take more energy than it would regularly. So I just want to see how much within the first hour, how much power it's going to draw. And then we'll do a second hour after the fridge has cooled enough and see how much power it draws when it's already cold. So let's check in an hour and see how much power is drained from here. We're at 79%, we just plugged her in. Okay, small update. I set this fridge to 42 degrees. It took about 25 minutes to get there. It started at around 67 degrees. So, I mean, I feel like that's pretty good, 25 minutes or so. And it was making a noise, like it was like running the fridge. And I was like, oh no, is this gonna happen the whole time? And once it reached my goal temperature, it stopped running. And then also here on my Jackery, if you guys remember, it was pulling around like 30 something watts. And now that it is at temperature, it is only pulling one watt. And so it took about 3% for that 25 minutes or so to reach the goal temperature. And now it's only drawing one watt. What? That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. We are back with another update. So it has been a full hour and we are only down 5%. So I am ready to open this for the first time. As you can see, I already put some stuff in here that I could take out of my cooler when it is nice and cold. Oh, that's so exciting. I'm gonna put some other things in here so you guys can see for size reference. This is a creamer. Oops. And also a smart water bottle that I reuse. And now I'll have cold water all the time. That's so exciting. Ooh. Good morning, everybody. So here we are. We are just waking up. It is about 12 hours since the um, solar panels haven't been plugged in because it was too dark. And so we were at 100%. It's been about 12 hours. And now we're at 71%. So I do have my phone plugged in right now, which is why I have this on. But I just plugged that in. So it is about 30%. Overnight, nothing else was plugged in, just my fridge. I feel like that's doable. So it's a few days later, and as you can see, I put a towel and a blanket on top of my fridge. I don't know if that like is gonna help keep it cold, but I was trying. And I'm about to make some coffee. And it has been super windy, as you can see, everything's kind of blown over. Uh, but it's cooler. And so I wanted to share with you guys because last night it was like a colder temperature and look, it only took 13% to run all night. And the first time that I tried it, it was like 90 degrees outside. So it took up so much more power to run all night because it was so much hotter. So that is so exciting to me knowing because I'm not going to be in 90 degree weather very often. Oh, hey. <laughs> So I wanted to wait a few days before I gave a better review of this fridge because one, I didn't have like anything in it. It was pretty much empty besides a few drinks in my creamer. Also, it was 90 plus degrees those couple days when I first got it and that is not the normal temperatures that I'm going to be in and obviously when it's that hot, it's going to use up a lot more power to keep it cool and so I wanted to wait until I could get to cooler temps because I was waiting for another part of this fridge, which I'm really excited about. I'm going to tell you in a minute, but I wanted to wait until I could leave Pahrump because that's where I was to go to a cooler place so that I could actually get a better feel for how much power this fridge is going to take up. <laughs> so I am in like 65, 70 degree weather. I've been here for a few days and you guys, 
<laughs> my fridge right now is sitting at 33 degrees. I have it set to 42 because I have, um, it's pretty much full right now. Um, I haven't taken a lot out of it. So there's still freezer food in there and it's keeping it cool just from the food that's in there. So it hasn't had to work very much. The first night after I filled it up and I was in these cooler temperatures, it only used 6% overnight. Only 6%. It was very shocking to me. Um, coming from, you know, 30% overnight and having to keep my solar panels on. I have not plugged my solar panels into my Jackery since since I was in that 90 degree weather. Um, and we're still sitting at 85%. Okay, and that's using my lights and using my fan and also the fridge has been plugged in the entire time. <laughs> and it's been like almost three days. It's just crazy. Also, when I made that first part of this, when I first got the fridge and opened it and plugged it in and it was 90 degrees and it was running all day and it was just draining my battery, I didn't have the coolest part of this fridge yet because when they sent it to me, they were out of stock of this particular part that is very important to this fridge, which makes it way cooler than all the other 12 volt fridges that I've seen out there. It comes with a portable battery that you can charge during the day when you have solar and then you can plug it into this little thing and it fits nicely in the top, which honestly, I'm probably not gonna use that little cubby that's made for this battery. Um, I kind of have it set underneath my Jackery here. So that way at nighttime, I can just, you know, move the plug down and not have to like move the plug around and like there's a little hole on the side of the fridge that you can put the 12 volt plug into but I think that it'll work better on my little stand here that my Jackery is on. So the portable battery that comes with it is 220 watts. And if it is able to maintain the coolness like it has been the last few days, that would easily last overnight. To be honest, I don't know much about fridges. This is my first 12 volt fridge that I've ever owned. Um, all I know is that it is much bigger on the inside than I expected it to be. I think it's 30 quarts, which is much bigger than what my cooler was so I am very happy with the size but let me go over some of the specs that it gives on the website so you guys can know what you're in for. So now let's head over to the Bouge RV website which is bougerv.com. I have the website pulled up to the fridge that was sent to me with the power station. Um, as you can see this is the CRPR030 30 quart portable fridge with a 220 watt power station. So you can order it with the power station, which I highly recommend because this thing is so cute and awesome for how small it is. It has a lot of power and you can get both of those for $509. As you can see, you can kind of order it just with the fridge by itself and it's $319 just for the fridge. So it's really a good deal to get this power station with it. Also, you're going to be getting more bang for your buck if you order them together. Also, I just want to kind of throw out there, you guys, that I'm not affiliated with Bouge RV. They came to me with an email offering me this fridge if I was to make them a review video. But it is a very reputable brand, and I have been very satisfied with the fridge itself. And so kind of getting into it here, it is 30 quarts, so it is a big fridge. As you guys saw, it barely fits in between where my two seats are in the front. It is much bigger than the cooler that I had, so I'm very, very happy with it. I know we talked a little bit about this battery earlier in the video, but they do say that it should last, if it's at 100%, that it should last six hours. Another thing I really like about this little power station that comes with it is it charges really fast. It only took a couple hours plugged in to charge up to 100%. It only takes a couple hours if you're gonna use the solar panels, um, about three hours if you're gonna use a car socket. So, I mean, it charges very fast. Also, I know that I showed you guys this a little bit earlier as well, but there is a space on the fridge for this power station to fit perfectly so that it doesn't take up any extra space. It's amazing, but I'm actually not gonna be using it for this because if you guys can see, these little circles that are in here. I thought this would make a way better like drink holder slash junk drawer area than to hold the little power station as you can see over here. But I have a nice little spot underneath my Jackery where it fits really nicely and so that just works for me but it is an option if you want to keep the power station in here. 
So let's go over the capacity of this thing again. I know that I already said that it's 30 quarts, but what exactly does that mean and what can it actually hold inside? So the size of this thing is a lot bigger than I was imagining, even though I had the dimensions here, but it's 16 inches tall, it's 23.7 inches long, and it's about 12.6 inches deep. Now, as you guys have seen in my minivan, I have a Dodge Grand Caravan. This fit perfectly, like snug, between the two seats in the front. It was perfect, like flawless fit. So this thing is a lot bigger than I was thinking when I saw it in the picture that they had sent to me. So according to their little chart here, it can fit quite a bit inside. So it's saying it could fit 25 bottles of water. 12 bottles of wine, 40 cans of soda, or six two liters of soda inside. Just to kind of give you an idea of how much can actually fit in it. Now, I am not the person who's probably going to test out whether it can fit 40 cans of soda inside or 12 bottles of wine, but I can tell you that it fits an entire week of groceries just fine. So I had actually first heard of Bouge RV when I was looking up solar stuff because they do have a lot of solar things. As you can see, they have an entire thing for solar solutions up here. But you can get a solar panel through them that'll work with your fridge. And also they sell a slide um, if you want to get a portable fridge slide, it says it's universal, which is sold through them. So I imagine that this is going to fit on there just perfectly. Um, and you can get all of those together for $781. And the solar panel here can be used for many other things than just this fridge. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here and kind of experiencing this excitement with me for this new fridge because I have been using a cooler with ice for three years. I am so ready for this upgrade. It has been so wonderful, so life-changing as far as my van life has gone. It is so nice. And I have not had any issues with my Jackery running low on power yet. It's just been very, very good experience overall using this fridge. Thank you to Bouge RV for reaching out and letting me test it out and give this review. I don't have really anything bad to say about it. So thanks again to Bouge RV and thank you guys for watching this video. Sorry again that I don't have like a discount code for you, but as you can see here, they do have something going on right now. They have this 10% off code. You can also get 16% off with this Memorial Day sale. So definitely check it out. I'll have links in the description box. Thanks again for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, definitely subscribe below. I'll also put a link for my Patreon in the description box in case you're interested in checking that out and helping support my channel. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!